I'm about to go check it out. You wanna go with me? We're wanting to add the the big chickens to the little chickens tonight. It's been three or four nights, something like that. Not guarantee it's gonna go well, but we'll see. Um, it's getting to be evening time and they're around the coop right now. Hi ladies. No, they're just right here around it. Look what the goats are. Okay, girl. The goats hear it and they come running and then they run the chickens off. Let's go. Hold it. I think we need to get the fresh bag of food out. Okay. Move. Move. Not totally necessary today. What? Not totally. Watch out. He's. She wants to get in. Grab one, Lincoln. Grab chicken. You'd think someone that wears that much bling could grab chickens. <laughs> it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, no, no. I told you, I told you. Daddy. They get nosy, man. No doubt. I don't want to wear bling just to be cool. I like them. Hold it for you. Hold it for you. Hold it for you. Hold it for you. Okay. Okay, we're, they're over here, buddy. Diamond is so chunky. Over here. Like, tick, tick, tick. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. That's a lot of meal rooms, and we're about to put them in the coop. Not there, not there. Not there. Oh, no, okay. He's still getting in there. Hold on, let's go over here. Let's go over here. <laughs> Daddy, what do you want to name the white one? Um, Nosy. Nosy? Why? Not as nosy as that goat right there. Because I think the white one's a problem a problem creator. Oh, dude. Nosy? It's just a big pile of mealworms. What's mill the white and black one? Never did you do that? You're just pouring mealworms everywhere. Spotty? Oh, you spotty? Yes, spotty. It's chaos right now. I've been watching them this whole time. We have a problem on our hands. Nora and Shoddy. Nora and Shoddy are all by themselves. <laughs> yep. They're and they're little chickens. Like yeah. they're three point five months. <laughs> hey girls. Hi girls. He's so cute. They're gonna be in trouble. I mean look how skittish they are and it's okay. They'll they're gonna right. get They'll be all right. they're gonna get pecked. I added this today, uh, the thermal cube. Oh great. Cuts on at 35, and it's a heat, so it's extra heat. Thank you, baby. They'll be fine. Maybe our girls will rally around them. Yeah, right. Survival the fittest out here. What are you doing? Don't, don't. Keep it open. Keep it open. Keep it open. That's their home. No. That's how we're gonna catch them tonight. No, their home is in there. I know. They're gonna go in here tonight. When they go in and they roost, we lift that up, we grab them, we take them and put them in the big How coop. How about we just do that right now? Go, go grab them. Uh, okay. If I grab one. Yeah, grab one. Yeah, grab one. Grab Diamond. Grab her. Grab Diamond, just so we could have one at least. Okay. But we, I kind of need, I think we need two of our girls to start, right? I don't want them picking on Diamond. Hey, Diamond, it will hold her own. Okay, the first have time. You Diamond? Would you go to get out of here, please? Oh man. You got her. Hey. Oh hey. man. Hold it. You gonna hold her? Yeah. You are? Okay. 
Oh, you, no choker. I hold it. Okay, ready? You hold it. Okay. Oh my gosh, if Maverick holds it and I can't. <laughs> hold her tight. I'm tight. Then can I hold diamond? I've never held a chicken. Come here, yes. It's your first chicken to hold. Away, it was away. Run away. Yeah. Maverick has done it before. Run, 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 hold okay, it. we're gonna we're gonna let run, we're gonna let okay, we're gonna let we're gonna let Bubba hold her. Okay. Bubba's never hold no don't hit her. Here. Okay, ready? Hold her just like this because her wings are down. So for context everybody, Lincoln has always had a fear of chickens. <laughs> ever since he got Pecked by a rooster. Watch your head, babe. Watch your head. <laughs> Watch your, oh, oh. Okay. Uh oh. Mama. <laughs> Mama. Oh, Mama. She's the most docile chicken. Okay, okay, she's okay, the okay, sweetest. Okay, okay. She'll no, never, no. she'll never peck you. Okay. She's the sweetest Daddy. girl. Okay. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Got her. You did it. You did it. It's kind of awkward, but you did it. I know. Can I set her down? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Your first chicken. <laughs> it was diamond okay, let's too. See what diamond does. Oh my gosh, diamond is so puffy. She's so fluffy. Diamond, who's in your house, girl? Watch out, bud. Step down. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but if I lift this up and grab one, the other two will fly, I'll make sure right? the others don't fly. I'll just grab her. Lola, they're literally right next to her. So, don't, the other ones don't come oh. out. Oh, okay, out. grab him, Link. Don't let him on there. Grab him, grab, grab him. him. Diamond's mad. Oh, it's Diamond. Diamond, Diamond. Oh, no. There is just chaos going on in this video right now. <laughs> Can you get up, please? I gotta wait till they come back over here. Oh gosh. Oh man. Somebody gonna be dead tonight. Stop. 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 And everyone on the Smith said, Why would you do that? We can watch it for a little bit and separate any fights. Yeah, we'll just see who's a troublemaker. But they've been, they've had a chance, a good chance to acclimate through this fence. Okay, update is everybody's in. The new girls and the old girls. So there are 14 chickens in here now. And um, the new girls went, oh, excuse me, the old girls went straight up the ramp into here. And they immediately the new girls roosted up high. They just went straight up to the top. Can't, can't really see you with that, but that's interesting. It's like. They went in, flew all the way up to the top to get their their little top perch. They squabbled a little bit, so th that's just how it's going to be. Um, I needed to get I needed to get them together. They've been acclimating through this fence and kind of smelling each smelling each other for like three days. I needed them. I needed this process to hurry up because I'm pushing up against the cold weather that's coming. That's going to get into the single digits here, maybe in the next few days and. I needed them in the big coop because I have that heat lamp and the big heater. So I didn't want the, the older chickens in that little tractor, chicken tractor. So anyway, y'all, I don't know. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if we're gonna, if there's gonna be a major pecking order problem and some of the little, little rascals are gonna get uh, pecked. I don't know, but we will find out. It, you know, we got some great advice whenever we got these, this latest batch of chickens from Bird and Bee Farm. We got some great advice where the guy kind of stopped and he said, Gene, and he said, hey, just to let you know, you can only do so much as far as like taking chickens to the vet and you can go way overboard. But at the, at the end of the day, you got to remember, they're just livestock. So we do our best as stewards of that livestock. We do our best to facilitate the best environment that we can, be smart about it, be responsible for it. But at the end of the day, there's only so much we could do. We need eggs and they're just livestock. So that, that's probably gonna offend some people here. And um, I understand, we've been doing the channel five years, so I understand that. But uh, we're doing the best we can. Comment below with your thoughts on this. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this trash can idea that I talked about a few shows ago, a few episodes ago. 
And I'm gonna put this, this trash can, metal can, in the middle of my greenhouse. I'm gonna fill it with water. I'm gonna put the lid on it. And then I'm going to, I've got an outlet over here. Right there. I'm gonna run one of those, those trough water heaters into the trash can. And they're made to drop in for like, trying to keep your livestock water from freezing over. So I'm gonna drop that in here and heat it up. Cause I've noticed that these things, those little rings heat up so hot and warm that water way more than past freezing temperature. So I'm wondering if the radiation from this metal can with warm water in it will radiate out into the greenhouse and keep it warm. That's what my theory is, I'm gonna try it. The cold weather's coming tonight and we'll be in this cold spell at least a week here in Texas. Here in a couple days, it's gonna be like high of 30, low of 12. It was gonna get into the single digits. I don't think it's quite gonna get that cold yet, but you never know. I've got the thermometer right here. And then the way I'm gonna test this, this idea out is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get, I was thinking about it last night. I was like, what can I do, what can I do? Without killing a plant, because these plants will live. They're okay, these are Afghan pines and uh, live oaks that I grew from acorns. They'll be just fine. If it gets below freezing in here, if it gets into the 20s, they'll be fine. But what I'm gonna do to test the theory for other plants, tropical plants that I maybe were gonna bring here without killing them, um, I could just put a cup of water right here. Right. Opposite side here, I'll put a cup of water right here and see if that water freezes. Then regardless of the thermometer here, I'll know just how cold it gets. If it gets solid frozen, or if it's like maybe a little layer of ice, I'll know, uh, judging by that water, how this is doing. I'll shut up, let me get to work and see what happens. That ready this is the chicken chicken water heater let me get that ready too let me use that and let's see so i've got a, a big one here i'm gonna do this and this is a little one i could save this for the for the goat water this i don't need this this is the big one and you just drop it in water and it heats it. <laughs> it's an interesting, interesting experiment. Um, I'm trying to think, should I use the goat one? I'll wait until the freeze hits to see if I'm going to use that goat one because I, I might just be able to break it with a shovel because I don't think it's going to get frozen solid in their trough. All right. I'll see what I can do with this stuff. I'll definitely use the chicken one tomorrow. I'll get that ready. Okay. Have the, the heater set it out. So actually, I got a little little bird seed in there. I'm gonna use for the, to water these plants. Cleaner. Filled it up. I'm not gonna start it now because I don't wanna. There's, it's 60 degrees in here right now. So I'll wait till either tonight or tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna freeze tonight. In the morning it will. I'll drop it in. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Hold on, hi. What's that doing? Hold on, hi. What are we doing, bud? Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> I got more trucks here and Hey, girls. I got in here this morning. I came over here and opened up the door to the big chicken house and let these four out because they were ready to get out. They know how to get out, but the others don't. They've never been out ever. So I figured I could open it up, let them out, and then close it again. But honestly, I'm kind of thinking about trying to let a few of these out right now. It is 5.30 p.m. You wanna see the world for the first time?
big world out here, but there's stuff called grass. It's green. You know you want it. Yeah, see? I don't think you've ever had grass before, but something in you tells you you should eat it, all of you, right? Look at that. Oh, it's delicious. Makes good eggs, too. Look at you, the two brave ones. Oh, more grass eaters. Isn't that delicious? Let me tell you about this thing called grass. It's green. It grows on the ground. And you can eat it. They've never had grass, but all of them are just drawn to it. Like, what is this? It's delicious. It's crazy. One of our old girls right here. Stepping onto the scene. Okay, mixing in kind of good. I like it.